it's time the infamous here and welcome back to my channel as you know I am doing a voiceover for this video unfortunately something happened with my mic and there is no audio so we're gonna be getting right into this look it is a fall look and it is Barbie on a budget BH Cosmetics was sweet enough to send a ton of stuff for you guys so I can do some inexpensive Barbie on a budget looks and you will not believe everything they sent is under $20. And there are some real goodies in here, you guys. I was really, really surprised, and I'm in love with how the look came out. I'm mainly going to be using this Baked and Beautiful palette, and it is only $11. They also sent some brushes, and I did use that for my look, and I was super impressed by them. You guys need to pick that up, and that's only 20 bucks, you guys. So the links for all these products will be below if you're interested in picking anything up. So let's just get right into this look, you guys. Please make sure you thumbs up this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be using is this Ultimate Brow Palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm taking this clear color and I'm just smoothing this across my brows. This is a brow wax and I'm just kind of testing it out and you know just seeing how it is. So I'm going to take this color on the far right and just begin filling in my brows. I would definitely recommend this palette. I did really like it. They have some awesome colors from lighter to deep, and this is something I'll be pulling out for Halloween, so definitely look into it, and it's only 12 bucks. So now I'm going into this darker brown color to just darken up my brows a little bit because that color was pretty warm. So you can see it really gives a nice dark color. Now you just want to go ahead and clean up your brows with your favorite concealer. This is really, really crucial for the look. So this is how my brows are looking. I took this color on the far left. You guys know I used the one on the right, but I used the one on the far left to just blend out the inner corner on my brows. So now we're going in with our Baked and Beautiful palette, and I'm taking that second color there, which I've been dying to put on my brow bone since I got this package in the mail, and I'm loving this. Now we're going into this very deep brown here in the center and I'm just going to start applying this on the outer corner. And disclaimer, I love this color you guys. Like seriously, you need this palette. I'm loving these browns. So now I'm looking for a color to place on my lid, so I'm going to look into this Essential Eyes 28 color eyeshadow palette and see if I find something I like. So I'm going to go in with that third color there and just begin placing that on my lid. Now we're moving on to our inner corner and I'm taking this color here in the center and it reminds me of Albatross. It is this gorgeous light gold but for way cheaper. And don't worry about blending just yet. First I'm placing all the colors because this is just a nice effortless look. Then I'm just going to go in with this lighter gold and begin blending out. We're just going over that lid color again and adding a little more dark brown to the outer corner. Now it's time to put on your eyeliner and I'm not overdoing it with the eyeliner because we will have a dark lip so you don't want to do your liner too thick. 
And to keep your look from getting too dark, I would totally opt for a nude color liner or a white line in your wet line and really, really pack that in there. So I'm looking to carve out the eye a little more. So I'm gonna look in this nude rose palette, which I really like, and I found a color at the top, that third one there, which is a nice transition color. So I'm just using that for a little more definition. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this palette. It's the Wild and Radiant Baked Illuminizing and Bronzing Palette. And I'm just gonna take that light color and stick it underneath there. And now I'm just taking the same colors I used on the top for the bottom, and I'm just taking that gold color and pressing it in the center of my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to finish off with the dark brown. Go ahead and apply your mascara to the lower lash line and really pack that on like you see me do. And now I'm just going to be applying my lash glue above my liner because you guys know what's next. Yes, purple glitter. So I'm just taking this light purple glitter. You can go with whatever color you want, but I kind of wanted it to match my lips. And I'm just packing that on there. Now for the lashes, I'm just popping on these lashes. You wanna find something that's kind of intense yet wispy. You can grab these at timesinfamous.com and I love these lashes. Next, you just wanna go ahead and apply your face primer because we're moving on to our skin. Now I'm just kind of looking through the brushes, seeing which one I want to use for my liquid foundation. And I'm going to go with this one. This is the 117 brush. And you just want to get that into your brush really well. And you'll see once I start applying this, it applies like butter. I was really impressed. And this brush is really a keeper for me because you can see right there, it has that slanted tip so you can get under the eyes so well. I'm also surprised because it fits in those little places so well. So now I'm moving on to my cream contour and you guys know that I've been practicing different techniques. So I'm just kind of looking through the brushes and seeing which one I should use. And I'm going with the 119 brush. It's a dream to use for the contour. You'll see how easily it glides on. And if you're interested in my makeup school, you can definitely check out timeacademy.com where I teach you guys one-on-one -on, -one on how to become a real makeup artist. And as you guys know, I never contour my nose with cream, so I just thought, you know, I'd give it a shot since this brush is making it so easy. So this is how it came out, and I really like the results. So I'm just continuing to contour, and then I'm just going to blend it out really well. So since I was so impressed with how that brush did my cream contour, I wanted to try it out on my powder. So I'm using the 113 brush and just using my regular powder. Okay you guys, so at this point I'm hooked. So I'm pulling out yet another brush. This is kind of like a bullet brush. This is the 115 and this gets under your eyes really well, so I'm really loving these brushes. Oh, 
Now I'm like, why not? Let me try this brush for my bronzer. So this is the 114 brush and it's more of a slant so you can put your bronzer on really well. And this is just an inexpensive one from the drugstore. Now I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant palette and I'm using that super pretty golden bronze and I am just hooked you guys. You will see how beautiful this color is. And right there I just said oh my gosh you guys because you should see this color in real life. It just looked like the sun was sitting on my cheeks. Now I'm testing the illuminators in that same palette and I just want to see which one is more intense. And the winner is the bottom left one. And this highlight seriously blew me away. I am like, whoa. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you saw how my cheeks were like strobing last night, you guys. As you can see here, I'm like shocked. So now we're finished with the whole look. We're just moving on to playing in a few lipsticks. Oh my gosh, I actually forgot about this. This is the BH Cosmetics Makeup Setting Spray and I am in love with this you guys. I will be using this from now on. I love the dispenser and I just love how much product it gets on your face. So these are the two colors that we'll be using to get our look but first I just want to try on a few other lipsticks. So here's a fuchsia and this is in the color bang. Now this minty green color is in the color Zap and I'm going to be trying this on and I also love this nude. I wanted to try this on first. So I'm just lining my lips with just a simple lip liner and then I'm going to go into that nude color which is called Zoink. And these are the pop art lipsticks so they all kind of have those cool names like that. So let me know what you guys think about these lip colors below. I'm loving this nude color. So that's how that lip color looks. And I still can't get over that highlight, lol. Now moving on to the minty green in the color Zap. I thought this would be a fun one to play in. Let me know if you guys want me to do a makeup look with that lipstick. I was totally loving it, but it just didn't go with the look. Now this is the last color I'm going to be putting on for you guys and this is a pretty peachy orange and this is in the color pop. And these lipsticks are only $5 a pop so definitely check them out especially if you're building your makeup kit. Okay we're coming up on our last lip and this is of course the one that I had on in the beginning of the video and I'm using a lip liner and then I'm going in with the lipstick in Crash. Now I'm just going to remove just a tad of this purple just so that there's enough room for the pink to be in there and not be too dark. Now I'm going in with this light pink color called Boom and these colors are good for ombres because they're just so creamy. So our 
ombre lip is coming along I'm just going to take off a little bit of that center part so I can get some nice pure pink in there so just continue blending until you get to your desired look and that is the finished product you guys I really hope you like my look I really love how the purple glitter goes with the purple lips so let me know what you guys think and don't forget to leave your fall requests below thank you BH Cosmetics so much for sending all these goodies for my girls to see some new inexpensive looks and don't worry they will also be sending more stuff for next month too, you guys don't forget the links will be below if you want to check out any of the products. And until next time, I will see you guys later.